You guys remember the science song? Will you sing it with me? Okay, ready? Repeat after me. Physics. Physics. Biology. Biology. Chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. Physics. Physics. Biology. Biology. Chemistry. Chemistry. Yeah. Yeah. That was awesome. High five. All right. We're here today with Liz Heineke, one of our very favorite guests. Right, guys? Yeah. Because it's all about kitchen science. So today, Liz, we are going to do some experiments. But first, I want to confirm a rumor I heard. What's that? I heard that there might be a second book coming out. Is that true? Yes, my kids and I and a bunch of neighborhood kids have been outside doing experiments, digging in the dirt, catching bugs, catching tadpoles, Blowing so, things up. So more to come. More to come. All right. Yeah. But today you've got something planned for us. What do we have? What are we doing today? Well, we're doing an experiment with what are these guys? Eggs. And what kind of animal did these eggs come from? Chicken. Yeah. So these eggs are shaped like an arch, right? See all the arches on these eggs? You can hold it. You can it's feel an, it. It's an ovoid. It's an ovoid. You are smart. Here, can you hold one too, Ella? Okay, hold the egg in one hand and squeeze it as hard as you can. See if you can break it. One hand. You can't break it, can you? Eggs have to be super strong. Why do you think they have to be strong? Yes. Um, because, um, I don't really know that much. Why do you think eggs have to be strong? So they don't break from like predators and stuff like that? Yes, and from their moms sitting on them, right? When they're hatching them out. Well, they have the down, so. Yes, but they also have to be weak. Why do eggs have to be weak? The oh. shells are thin. So what? they can get out. That's right, so the chicks can peck their way out. Well, today we're going to do some physics experiments with eggs, and I'm super excited. We're going to see what happens when eggs stop slowly versus when they stop really fast. All right, well, let's get started. Yeah, and do you think that's a good experiment to do in the house? Well, maybe not this house. Maybe not. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Are we going to take it outside? Yeah, let's take it outside. All right, let's go. Okay, Liz, we're outside, and we have two kids armed with two eggs each. What's going to happen here? I know. Well, the law of motion says an object in motion wants to remain in motion. And if you stop it fast, it stops with a lot of force. So we are going to see what happens when you throw an egg and it stops fast against something like a fence. So you guys, go ahead. Throw your eggs. <gasps> ah! <laughs> You're a dead egg! <laughs> what happened? Did they stop with yeah. a lot of force? Yes. Yeah, they it did, and that up. broke. So even their strong shells aren't strong enough for that. Now let's go see what happens when we stop them more slowly. Okay. See if you can break them. All right. Let's All right. Do it. Always make your kids clean up after they do a science experiment. So There's right. some high up eggs to eggshells too. I mean, like, yeah, the, the white. Yeah, I get that off. There you go. Okay, we're ready for the next part of our experiment, Liz. What is going to happen now? Okay, the kids are going to throw their eggs as hard as they can, and we're going to see what happens when eggs hit something that stops them more slowly. So try to break them. Throw them in the middle of the sheet as hard as you can. Did it break? No! Oh, harder! Ah! One more! Oh, nice! Okay, come see if they broke. Do you guys know what happens when an airbag goes off in a car? Yeah. It's a bunch of pressure and going to send you flying backwards and it's going to hurt. Right, but it also, if the car is going fast, right, it stops you slowly, just like this sheet stopped your egg. So oh. the eggs didn't break. Yes, yeah, just like airbags. Do you guys want to try one more time? Yes. Okay, go for it. Whoa, nice throw. Oh. oh. <laughs> nice. Right, nice break? job, you guys. We've just seen what happens when eggs are thrown fast at a hard surface and then basically combust. But now we're going to take a look at how strong eggs can actually be. Right. We talked about their arch structure. And you know you see arches in architecture a lot, right guys? Like bridges you see arches? Well, we're going to see how strong these arches are by actually standing on eggs. And when you do this, you want to make sure all the eggs are pointing the same direction and none of them are broken. But we are going to hold your hands and help you step on. The idea is to evenly distribute your pressure. So you want to step on, go ahead, with a really it's flat a foot. Okay, okay, now, so, oh. okay, step back now. You're, we're going to let go of your hands, and you're going to put all your weight on the eggs. One, two, three. Are they breaking? Uh. <gasps> Ella, your turn. Let's try it again. Okay, stay, stay here. Okay. Isn't that amazing how strong they are? <laughs> oh, she doesn't even want help. Okay. Ready? Oh, she's walking step, on them. Okay, step back. All right. <gasps> wow. Uh. 
So they're the weak enough, the down. shells are thin enough that a chick can peck their way out, but they're strong enough that you can stand on them. Is that awesome or what? That is pretty... Pretty awesome. Go science, right? It hurts, yes. though. Oh. All right. How do they get off? Well, I think you should just step off carefully. What do you think would happen if you stepped on them with the high heels on? Then they would break yeah. like that one did. Oh, we, that's pretty good. Out of 24 eggs, how many did one we break? One egg broken. That was really neat, Liz. It's pretty impressive. I don't know if I could stand on those eggs, you think? You could. You want to okay. try? Come no. on. No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, maybe next time. Okay, okay. okay.